Boys and girls, today we are going to be painting. You are going to find a paper at your table spot that has your name on it. When you get to your table spot, you will already have one of those fancy aprons on so that we don't make messes on ourselves. And we're going to fold our paper in half like a book. My name is on the outside. So when I open up my book, I can't see my name. At your table spots, you will be sharing three paint brushes and you will be sharing the three paint colors. We want to be careful that one paintbrush is always in the yellow, one paintbrush is always in the red, and one paintbrush is always in the blue. We don't want to mix the colors. So your goal today is to take each color and paint a little bit on one side of the fold. So I'm not going back and forth. I'm only painting on one side. So I'm just making kind of a shape, making sure I have lots of paint on there. You know what, maybe I'll take that shape and just kind of smear it around. Now we're gonna do some magic. We're gonna to try to get this yellow to show up on the other side. There's a little trick. I'm gonna fold my paper in half, close up that book, and I'm gonna rub my hand and I can actually feel that paint moving around. When I open up my paper, look at that. Same on both sides. I'm gonna try that with a different color. I'm gonna try to use all three colors today. So this time I'm using red, and I'm not smearing it in the yellow, I'm keeping it separate. And you can try to put it in a couple spots if you want. Every time I paint a new color, I fold my paper up and I'm gonna rub. And with the red, you can kind of see through and you can see where it is. I'm gonna keep rubbing even where I painted the yellow. So my red and my yellow are kind of squishing together. When I open it up, awesome. What color do I have left? You got it, blue. So I'm gonna paint some blue and I'm always staying on one side of the fold. I'm gonna paint some more blue up here. Maybe I'll put a dot down here. When I fold it, that's when it shows up on the other side. Gotta rub really nice all over to get it to show up on that other side. When I open it up, it is that magic word, symmetrical. It's the same on both sides. Now that I have all three colors, I'm gonna look to see if there's any more spots that I'd like to put some paint. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more yellow. I'm gonna put a dot here, always staying on one side of the fold. I'm gonna make a little line up here. I think this will be my last time folding my paper. I'm gonna rub it. And I'm gonna open it up. Cool. This is gonna go in the drying rack, boys and girls, to dry. It is so important that you put your paper in the drying rack open. We don't wanna keep it shut or it'll stick together. Once it's open, you're probably gonna to wanna to go to the sink and wash your hands. In a spot. When we put long papers like this in the drying rack, they go in the long way. If you are somebody who twists them, they lean off the front and then they fall out. If we can put them in the long way, nobody's will touch, which means nobody's will stick to each other, and they will stay nice and neat. They won't get smeared. So try to keep them in here nice and neat, and be patient. If somebody is in line in front of, in front of you, just wait. Don't try to reach over their head, or they will probably end up getting paint on their head. Boys and girls, the art room has two sinks. You can use either sink area to wash your hands. If there is a line at one of the sinks, well, use the one that has less of a line. So at the sink area, there are stools. So if you are a little bit shorter and you need to stand on the stool, they will be on the ground for you. Two people can share the sink. It is big and can share the water. So you wanna be careful not to turn it on all the way or you'll kinda of get splashed. So just a little bit of water, and when you wash your hands in the art room, two pumps of soap, 
you want to make sure you're scrubbing to get all of that um, paint off or the mess that's on your hands. So I'm scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing with my two pumps. I'm rinsing off my hands really well. I can have two pumps of, of paper towel. And then there are garbage cans right by the sink for you to put your paper towel in. If somebody is right behind you, don't shut the water off. They can use the water you were using. But if there's nobody in behind you, you gotta make sure you shut that water off really well. Again, share the sink. Be respectful of the people who need to wash their hands behind you. The last thing you wanna do when we have a messy cleanup is to hang up your apron that you have on. So just like at home, you wanna make sure you hang it on the hook nice. We don't want messes in our closets. Day two of our blot printing project, we're gonna be doing some cutting and some gluing. When you get your painting back, your name is gonna be folded in the inside. And I have created a line for you on your project that you're gonna cut out. The important thing today is that we are keeping our paper folded. So I'm actually gonna start cutting on that line right on the fold. I am cutting both sides, if you take a peek right here, at the same time. My shape that I'm cutting out is going to be symmetrical, the same on both sides. So it, sometimes when kids are cutting, they accidentally get their scissors in there and they end up cutting just one side. If that happens to you, just raise your hand and a, a teacher will help you fix that. But I'm trying to keep my paper closed and I'm pinching my paper with my other hand, cutting on that black line as best as I can. I have scraps and then I have this paper that if I open up, look at that, it's the same on both sides. And it's already starting to look like a butterfly. So I'm going to take my glue and remember to open that glue we're going to twist that orange cap and I'm going to flip my butterfly shape over and I'm going to put some dots of glue all over the back. Don't worry if you're gluing on your name because you are going to get a sheet that's colorful and it will have a new name tag on it. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to lay it on my colorful background. We call that sheet we're gluing on our background. And I'm going to kind of tap it down, trying to make sure I have a nice border of that paper all the way around. While you are working, a teacher will pass out two sticker eyes for you. So these two eyes are going to be the eyes of your butterfly. So eyes on a butterfly are towards the top. I'm putting one on that fold, one on the other fold. And the last steps are to use those dot stampers. And when I dot stamp, I'm gonna stamp really gently because you can see that there's a lot of liquid in here. It's kind of like wet paint. So I'm being super gentle. If I slam this down, it's gonna splatter. I just put dots in the middle, like on the center of the caterpillar's body. And you can also add some dots at the top for the antennas. So I'm going to put a couple dots going each way. I am not taking these stampers and dotting all over my paper because that would ruin my awesome painting that I made. When I have my stamping done, I am going to carry this carefully to the drying rack and put it in a spot that I can reach. I'm going to put away my scissors, twist that glue shut and put those away at my table and the scraps are going to go into the recycling bin.